Hi, welcome back to another video, and um, this one's a review of Acelith Designs DTM style rim for uh, the Thrustmaster T300 RS. Now, I came across Acelith Designs in a thread over at GT Planet, and it um, seemed quite interesting what they do is they manufacture um, rims which allow you to take the old rim off of a variety of different manufacturers' uh, wheels, so the um, they support Thrustmaster and um, Logitech primarily. I've got a spare, or rather I had a spare Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel, so the one that originally came with it, because I've got my um, Ferrari 599 Alcantara wheel, and I've got their um, open wheel as well, so their open racer formula type wheel. So I had this spare rim um, and wheel and hub, and I thought, well, Let's have a look what they've got. And there's quite a wide range available for the uh, T300 RS. Uh, everything from GT3 style rims to F1 and open wheel style rims and some DTM ones. And um, they manufacture them, depending on the rim you go for, in a variety of materials, either steel, aluminium, or in some cases carbon fibre. And the prices seemed quite reasonable, so um, I think it was just under €60 Euros I plumped for the DTM style rim. It's based on the BMW DTM rim. Um, it's quite a nice small rim, and it's different to anything I've got. So ordered that one, so I say €60, Euros, another €6 Euros or so for some grip tape to go with it, and... Um, ordered away and waited to see what I got. So what turned up was a very nice package and it did arrive from Italy remarkably quickly. I think it got to me in something like four or five working days, which given global circumstances at the moment, um, I actually thought was pretty impressive. What arrived was a very nicely made um, rim plate with handles, um, two lots of grip tape, one for each side, and a full set of stickers and logos, including a nice um, bubble and BMW logo for the centre as well, which was pretty good. Um, I have wrapped wheels before, real ones, not um, some racing ones, but never done um, a kind of Formula DTM style one with separate handles, so this was a test for me, but I did a pretty reasonable job with the grip tape. Um, there's a lot of videos online that show you how to do it, so it was a fairly straightforward thing to do. Got all of that done and trimmed down. Um, got it decaled up and mounted on my rim, and uh, you'll see both the uh, old hub, sorry, not rim, got it mounted on my old hub, um, and some size comparison videos, um, or other pictures in this video for you. Got it all mounted up and uh, installed on my rim, and honestly, installing on the rim following the video they provide did genuinely take about two minutes. It was incredibly easy to uh, put together. The end result for a 60 euro, so that's about, what, 50 odd pounds in um, sterling, is a really nice uh, little formula style rim which um, I've been using with ACC and I have to say the lighter weight really does help improve the torque but also it, it just feels that little bit smoother and being perfectly honest I, I think it's a great product um, I think it's a reasonable price for what it is and what you get um, it's excellent service you receive from them and yeah if anybody has a spare rim for a thrustmaster or is looking for an alternative rim for their logitech and um they're after something which is a reasonable price then yeah it's it's well worth doing and uh, gives you another option certainly um I'm not sponsored to make this video and I actually think it was a worthwhile purchase and uh, has given me a third rim option for my T300. So I'm going to pop links to the site and um, everything down below. Let me know what you think of the rim, whether you think it's uh, a worthwhile investment for the money um, and if you have any other thoughts or comments or if you've got an Acelith rim and you want to share your thoughts down the bottom, please do. Uh, if you've uh, liked this video and you want to see more content like it, please do subscribe away and hit that bell icon for further notifications. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.